is all, right? I mean, this doesn't, how the heck am I supposed to be able to factor something that looks like this? However, if I rewrite this, remember to factor something. For instance, if I was going to factor like x squared plus 2x plus 1, do you guys know it's not, it's okay to factor when they're all x's, right? Yes? So it would make sense then, I'm going to want to factor this. I'm going to want to factor this when they're all in the same term or the same trigonometric function, right? All tangents or all cosines or so forth. So fortunately, yes? Why did you change the x's? Just to theta. I, just because that's what I originally did, it doesn't matter. I mean, I could put, I could put anything in for there. There's the variables. Um, however, what is, what, um, this is really 1 over cotangent, right? That's equivalent to what? What's 1 over cotangent really equivalent to? Tangent of theta. So I can rewrite this as 4 tangent squared of theta minus 4 tangent of theta. And then here, um, sine of theta, what does cosecant theta represent? 1 over sine of theta. So. When I'm doing mine, after I simplify this, this is what I get. Is that really what the problem was? Yeah. Yeah. Minus 4 plus. OK. Hmm. Oh, OK, yeah, that would work. Is everybody OK with this? Yes? What happens when you multiply sine times cosecant? They're, one, they're reciprocals of each other, right? I wrote down there, cosecant's 1 over sine. So 1 over sine times sine is just 1. Now, ladies and gentlemen, factoring something like this, uh, I would assume, can be very confusing, right? So guess what? If you think you have to factor, which in those problems, I, it tells you to factor them, forget about the trigonometric functions. Just go back to factoring with variables that you're familiar with. OK, here's a factor form. Now, at the beginning of the year, we did do a summer, uh, summer assignment. Um, and I did have factoring on there. And I did tell you, if you don't know how to do factoring or you don't start practicing your factoring, this class can start getting very difficult very quickly. Because yes, I would expect you guys to be able to factor this very, very quickly. If you guys look at this, I know that the first two terms have to multiply give me 4x. I'm going to decide 2x and 2x. They both have to give me 1, but then add to give me negative 4x. So I see this as the factored form of 2x minus 1. So that can be written as 2x minus 1 squared, right? Well, now, if all I did was replace tangent with x, would it make sense then I can just replace x back in for tangent or a tangent back in for x, right? So my final answer is, oh, really what I could do here is just do it as um, 2 tangent. It's actually theta, though, that I'm using. 2 tangent of theta minus 1 squared. So that'd be your factored expression. Done. OK? Whenever you guys are doing factoring, I think it's really helpful to use variables. Because even though this is just a pretty simple factoring problem, um, it gets confusing when you're using trigonometric terms and functions. So I would use variables like x and y. And then that should be good with that.